Sardinians, welcome again to Sardinia in a nutshell. First of all, sorry about the lighting, unfortunately I'm not really well equipped and uh, England decides to get very dark very quickly in winter, so you'll have to bear with me. At least it gives it a bit of a Halloween-y kind of theme, you know, it's October anyway, so why not, I mean. In today's video we are going to explore Sardinian, in particular the sound of Sardinian and to do this we are going to go through a journey uh, which will bring us to the pronunciation of Sardinian in English, the pronunciation of Sardinian in Italian and in the end the pronunciation of Sardinian in Sardinian. So really when I say pronunciation is actually accent but you know whatever. First of all a little disclaimer what you will hear today is of course not uh, the Sardinian that is spoken and the accent that everyone has throughout the whole of Sardinia. I mean, Sardinia is quite a big island anyway, so it's kind of like natural to have different accents in different parts of Sardinia. Uh, so what you will hear today, it's the accent that you most likely will find in the western coast, south, southern western coast of Sardinia, especially the one of the municipality of uh, Carbonia Iglesias. Uh, which is where, I, where I'm from. So how does Sardinian sound in English? Uh, kind of uh, pointless to say, but here we have it. Unfortunately, all my Italian friends have left the city where I'm in, so I can't really show you how different our accents are. But if you hear someone, for example, from uh, Milan speaking English, they will have a different accent than me. And this is because we have little particu particularities, is that a word? We have little particularities um, that differentiate, of course, uh, the different accents of Italian and so the different accents uh, in English. So, for example, people from Milan, they tend to close the vowels, especially the the O vowel quite a lot, whilst here in Sardin, well here, whilst in Sardinia uh, we tend to open up everything and we tend also to uh, double a lot of consonants. So I'm sure if you ever have heard an Italian speaking English, they probably have a different accent than me, unless of course they are from Sardinia. Also there are loads of Italians that I envy so much because they can grab the accent of the place where they live and just to completely make it th theirs and uh, it's just amazing to see because uh, I have a friend um, and her English is just impeccable. She can just, she has a very English accent when she speaks English but she, is, she has a very Italian accent when she speaks Italian because she was born in Italy. So how does Sardinian sound in Italian? I think the best way to show you is actually by speaking Italian. I will put some subtitles on so that you can understand what I'm saying anyway. So, here goes! Quindi gli italiani che mi incontrano, la prima volta che mi sentono parlare, di solito capiscono perfettamente di, da quale parte dell'Italia vengo, perché il mio accento a quanto pare è molto forte. Perciò come fanno a capire immediatamente che eh, io sono sarda? Il fatto è che i sardi tendono a uh, raddoppiare le loro consonanti molto spesso. Una parola che spiega molto bene questo fenomeno è la parola obiettivo, che viene scritta uh, con una sola B quando uh, si intende objective e viene scritta con due B quando si intende camera lens. In Sardegna non c'è molta differenza fra i due, si dice sempre obiettivo, obiettivo, come potete sentire la B sound, B. Eh, rimane molto forte ehm, perché noi raddoppiamo le, le consonanti però non è, non è una cosa brutta è solo una cosa che capita con il sardo e succede, basta so back to English uh, that, that was the Sardinian accent in an Italian uh, dialogue uh, I'm not sure if you could understand a bit like the, uh, the little shade of uh, different accent different kind of Italian Lastly, the Sardinian accent in a Sardinian context. As I explained in my previous videos, I cannot speak Sardinian, but I still wanted to give you a little example of uh, how Sardinian sounds like. So what I decided to do was to read out to you a poem in Sardinian that actually my grandma has written. So she has a Facebook page where she writes a lot of her 
poems she loves writing poems in Sardinia so yeah if you want to have a look at it I'll just uh, put it down below in the description box I'll put a link into it to the Facebook page and if you want to give it a like why not just give it a like so here we go Cando su coro contento pari di chi su mondo gioisce ma vi venire uno pensamento forse sì se su mondo è contento gioisce di ogni coro del nessuno tormento e aresti uno bello tesoro chi senza de nessuno tormento gioisce di ogni coro su mondo fiera essi più bello se invece de tristura e affanno faremo uno giardino più bello po piticoso e mannoso chi si protegge il suo cielo po piticoso e mannoso se si pone uso di impegno fare uso su mondo più prospello so there you have it the poem in Sardinian and me speaking Sardinian fish speaking just a little disclaimer again though uh, I have been told by a friend of mine that unfortunately the Sardinia that we speak in the in that part of Sardinia uh, it's not actually a standardized version of Campidanese so what I've just read to you it's probably not um, kind of like academic standards of Campidanese thing is first of all Campidanese is a dialect so really do we have to worry about the fact that it's not a standardized kind of version uh, don't know about that secondly we still uh, don't really have uh, an actual standardized Sardinian I mean we do have it with Sal Salim Bassarda Comuna but at the end of the day no one really uses it that much uh, and relies more on their dialects because that's what people are more kind of like interested and more uh, fond of so at the end of the day yes probably the Sardinian wasn't like to the academic standards but it was written by an actual person that has uh, spoken Sardinian all, all her life and uh, so for me that's good enough I think and I hope it is for you as well oh uh, there we go that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it if you want to give it a thumbs up please do if you want to comment please do and if you want to subscribe please do of course any comments or remarks just leave them down below and I'll see you next time. As a video. Oh my days speaking Italian in front of a camera is weird. <laughs>